Hello and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. Today I was supposed to continue playing episode 2 of the game with my very own save file. Unfortunately, this has been deleted. So now I will have to auto-generate episode 1, which means that a lot of what I decided in the last game is basically pointless. I might as well not have played at all. If not for the enjoyment that was brought to me by the game itself. I have actually started this a couple of times to see what kind of save files I would get. I was, let's just say, less than pleased. It would have been so nice if I could just pick the bloody saves for myself. Also, I have noticed that the game continually uh, basically Gotham's next mayor bugs to know you. up Vicky vale. a lot of this video and reporter for the Gotham Gazette a lot of freezing is happening is the death as you have seen soliciting by votes now. from Gotham's biggest crime family hmm. your father knew which hands to shake oh yes I'm sure that he did don't you know not to corner a wild animal it's dangerous. Um, yeah, I know it's dangerous. Bye, Bat. Bye, bye. This is Selena. With the strangely badly rendered eyebrows. How many? <laughs> ah, the scene of the massacre. Falcone's calling card. I'm just hoping this is not the chemicals. Super, super evil bats who will stab the guy. Ah, good. This choice is why I have restarted this video process twice now. Tun tun tun. Plot twist. The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. I do not believe that. Should I? No. The winds were nice guys. Perfectly reasonable gentlemen. And my parents, let us not forget. So I'm going to give them some credit. The, this game series is up to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Unless you know your saves get deleted for no apparent reason other than the fact that this game is a buggy piece of crap. But hey, other than that, totally tailored by how you play. Wayne Memorial Auditorium. Ah, the stuttering. I just love it. Don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But One of us more than the other, Alfred, old boy. I know you've come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. This can be true. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. You mean to tell me you believe that, Alfred? For nearly two decades. You mean to tell me you knew I about that? It would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. And try harder! Oh, someone's angry. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas 
legitimize the whole enterprise with his oh. name. Your father, it's Hamilton true. Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Damn it. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Why didn't you tell me earlier? You knew all that. And you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. But you knew about it and you, you didn't know, tell me. I had my suitcases ready. Oh. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed. And you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done was out of love for you. Well, I I, hope I appreciate that. Me. Of course I can. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Thank you, Alfred. We all make mistakes, and I understand Alfred's desire to protect me from all this. Night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Perhaps he didn't even realize. Yet, there it was. Perhaps Chill didn't know him. Wouldn't Chill just run when he recognized him? Well, it's a fair assumption. I had a doubt from Falcon. Someone else you had an interest in was a simple mugging. my father's in 20 death. years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. Detail. Maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Hmm. We are going to investigate a 20 year old crime in a side alley, alley that looks like this? Come on, Bruce. I want him are you sure this is going to help? Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I will send him to jail, of course. I take him to jail. Just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? No. He was. But that does not mean no he one deserves. For Joe Chill, Bruce. Different behavior from me. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. This is a night for revelations, boys and girls. And not the kind oh, I enjoy. I it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. <laughs> I never knew that. She was always so good to me. I've always been Where curious about the different versions the of their death. With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Are there? Do I really want to know? Something suggests to me 
that whether you want to know or not, well, doesn't really matter now, does it? in the money at all. Jeez. So he made it look like a mugging. But it wasn't a mugging at all! The pearls. Of course it's going to be the pearls. Bruce! Are you alright? It wasn't a mugging. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Time to go and have another talk with him. Perhaps I should have stopped him. Would be easier to talk with him in a hospital, I suppose. Oh well. Too late for regrets. <laughs> Oh, that was rude. But getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. And I appreciate Look, it. I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we Thank brushed you. shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. Oh, yes they did. tell me what this is about? Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. All I'm right, sure. all right. I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. I'm not sure Bruce, it was I a good idea to tell him, but... Just try and keep it cool in there. I will. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend Not in my pocket. Whenever you need it. Harvey's not in my pocket, Lieutenant. He always does what he thinks is right. Well, it's lucky your interests align. Indeed it is. God, I'm... Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that's I'm bullshitting myself again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you. Despite what the media is saying. Thank, Thank you. Sergeant. That means a lot. That really does mean a lot. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. And I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. That's what he, he does. He cares about doing the right thing. We're lucky to have him. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. Isn't Harvey right, publicly inside. against him? <laughs> say what you got to say. We'll be oh well, here. politics and personal perceptions, quite different. Episode two. Perhaps this time my saves will not get deleted.
Falcone, old boy. Ah, children of Arkham. Please don't tell me we are going to send Falcone. Bruce Wayne? In Arkham. That would be, like, you must worst idea clout. ever. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every the wrong other guy? time they tried to put me away. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. Well, that gets my vote of confidence. Hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. So I got it. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you Going hired Joe. Decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried well. to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Got How are we, family? Full of birthday presents I was never able to get. <laughs> Convince me then. Tell me a story. That's that's so weird. Thing. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Oh boy. Your father, Hill, and me. We ran this city. Still do. <laughs> God, Still do. Pain. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but my father has be a been AWOL for a while. Help Uncle Carmine out, huh? I'm not going to hurt him as Bruce Wayne. That would be kind of... 40 years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole fire, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. It would. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I need you coherent, or you would be gone already. <laughs> oh, there it is. That Wayne streak. <laughs> Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Oh. Your boy. father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she Gosh. had the human touch. You gonna talk about my mother? You got more of her oh. here, tell the truth. Yeah, there's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> Did you well, take her from know. me? You took her from me when I was nine years old. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. Tell me that. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I who never did? ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you it's call friends. The penguins. Your parents look Pen at that. No. Whoa! They're waiting for you in hell. The bastard had to die. What the hell? Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Bloody! <laughs> okay, that's one way to deal with Falcone. Anyway, I know who did it. I know who killed my parents now. I don't know if in-game I know it. But I have figured it out. We are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out sooner or later. 
Why would she do something like this? Because she's we crazy. Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This something was wrong with her. This close. I don't. I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Which means that someone ah, got to her meant for with, a thousand with the victims. neurotoxin. And now it is a That's it. Disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts. Like how and why. Exactly. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. Well, well this is going to a be while. a shit show. Still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection mm, secured. iPhones are so great. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. She's been touched with the... Uh... Oh, oh, I can see the entry point of the needle. See? Okay, let's first... Yeah. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. Hey, it's a Wayne phone, not an iPhone. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, yeah, I think exactly. I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. What? Why would I? Where was that thing? Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. What do you remember? Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh God, Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant everything is so foggy i remember a sharp pain i can see how hard is going to spin this but then it just felt light like i could do whatever i wanted no guilt no consequence yep that's definitely some sort of a new agent insisting falcone was gonna get off Similar thing happened to that to officer that. who clawed into I the criminal. To. No matter what, the reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Uh-oh. I knew it. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah. yeah I, I, she did. Don't worry about that now. I found needle marks. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. 
Yeah, I know. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Agreed. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Oh! Vicky Vale! What, Journalism what integrity. My friends in the, in the flesh. PD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm in a rush. I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Where uh -oh. is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held? Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true. <laughs> I didn't say that. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going oh, on. Oh, I gave you the files. You Interesting. To be associated with it. Let me help you. All right, all right. Your name I'll play it your way, Vicky. You need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. A police sergeant, Renee Montoya. W wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. I'm not sure if this was good. I should have told her that she was under the influence of some sort of a nerve agent. Oh boy. I do believe I just made a mess. Sorry, Harv. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found the docks. Uh-huh. Told we'll ya. We got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. He did. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. <laughs> Me neither, Falcone but, you know. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father he had a lot more to lose. Falcone would have balanced each other out. Politics, entertainment, business, and illegal activities. Such charming this trinity. This fine drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Why am I not surprised? Bloody hell. Let's check out the dog sample the the dogs next. Were with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Chaos, revolution. Thing, but dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. 